at 6.30. And um, the public here tonight are Dan Zembreski, I think, and Andy Cotton. Andy. Uh, <laughs> Andy's going to score. Yep, it is Dan. Hey there. Um, are there new additions to the agenda? <coughs> There's one correction that needs to be made to the Gazette, but I don't know where you want to put it. A, co a correction to the Gazette? A correction to the articles in the Gazette from the select board. It needs to be a correction needs to be made about that. I don't know. I don't think the article that. from the select board made it to the Gazette. It didn't. It did. It's, no, there's no article in, from the select board. Anyway. It surely did because it says Gilbert has a leash law and Gilbert does not have a leash law. So, Gazette, is it, is it just a piece on the dog? Bit. Is it a small piece? Yeah, on the dog. That wasn't written by the town. Okay, that I'd clarify that too because it's 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 it indicates the slight board wrote that and that the slight mm -hmm. board is yeah. No, I will <coughs> And that's why I brought it up because yep. because uh, Dover does not have a lease law and, and uh, that was the indication of that article. That piece, yeah. Are there changes to the agenda order? Hearing none, I would ask for approval of the minutes of August eighth, two thousand and sixteen. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Old business, VTrans maintenance agreement, US5, Route 5 bridge sidewalk. Um, this was on the July 25th agenda. Mm -hmm. You asked for simpler language. We seem to have gotten not much, but I read through it. It's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least I had time to read through it this time. Yeah, I, and, we did. and basically what it does is it's a lot of... Um, the state saying we're working in your town near your right away and these are all the things we're taking on as our responsibility as a result of that project and leaving the town to not be responsible for it so it's actually quite protective of the town so it's um, stock and then all of the supporting pieces that go with it are That's because it's federal highway money and they have to include them mm -hmm. as part of the grant agreement. yes or the maintenance agreement. so we're so I'm sorry dick you're signing the minutes so yeah. do we have a motion to accept the Yep. Maintenance agreement for yeah, this the is, U.S. This is on the bridge sidewalk. Bridge sidewalk. Yeah. Are you? Did you just move? I, I'll move that. Yeah, Thank I know. You. I know what it is. But yeah, I'll move that too. Yeah. Second. And Tori will second. Um, all in. Is there any discussion? Aye. Can Can you move to have the board chair sign it in front of a notary? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Thanks for all of me. So, so to have the board <laughs> chair sign. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 So the new business, the first item is letter of support, the Green River Village Preservation Trust. That is that. I'm just going to put the minutes on yeah. top just to keep okay. my order right. Um, Green River Village Preservation Trust owns the Green River um, Timber Crib Dam, and they are looking to apply for um, a historic preservation grant from the Division of Historic Preservation of the State um, and they're looking for a letter of support for, from the town for them to do some much needed maintenance work of removing some of the silt, a lot of the silt out of the mill pond up top which is putting a lot of pressure on the yep. dam so it's, it's, uh, pre it's preventative maintenance that's really important so this is the letter, it was included in your drop right. box. And the only question I had, that doesn't have the town doing any of the work over there or anything None. like that? No, right? it's just us, you guys supporting them in their efforts okay. to apply for yeah. funding. Yep. Mm -hmm. No financial, uh, no physical. I'd like to move that the board supports the Green River Village Preservation Trust in the, the cleaning up of the dam and everything like that. Second. Thank you, Gabby. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, next on the agenda is the personnel policies and benefits guidelines. So um, we explained in the email that these are documents that we've worked on for the past several months. Um, met most of the time in select board work meetings, um, most of the people, the people who have participated the most are Gordon, me, Katie, Dan Zambruski, and Penny Marine. Um, and as the iterations have, as we've gone through the various iterations, we've distributed them to everybody. Um, we have 
also <coughs> asked for people um, to, to comment. Um, we've had some issues that have been raised, and we've had a lot of discussions with different people. Um, and the last time we sent these out, let me just think, Katie, was after the latest discussion with the highway crew, um, and we were able to resolve a couple of a significant issue that they had about overtime. Um, and so we asked for any more comment to be submitted by last Thursday. Um, I'm not sure that there was a comment. Yeah. 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 And with the understanding that we were going to um, try to move through this tonight and get them approved conditional and then submitted to the VLCT so that we could um, actually then adopt them. So we're at the stage of submitting them, looking for approval to submit these changes to the, um, to the VLCT. And the largest, um, the driving impetus behind these, these reviews were um, the fact that some of the positions, some of the policies were either illegal, were illegal, and they also discriminated against certain classes of a certain class of employee or certain classes of employees. And so we were trying to make things as equitable as possible and to ensure legality of the entire policies and benefits guidelines. So, um, so now we're at the stage of um, hopefully getting them off to the VLCT. And uh, we did not have any comments I think. following the Wednesday email that Katie sent out, but perhaps people have other comments now. You have that one, Troy. Did you get one? Of yeah. Uh, I, I saw one. Uh, it says, where was Are it? you in the benefits or the policies, Troy? That was my question. What's the difference between the That's documents? Because the they don't benefits. seem linked together, but it's not on the. Okay. Yeah. So we're just looking at the personnel policy now. We're looking at the personnel, so there are two different documents. Originally, for the last, I don't know how many years, Guilford has had its benefits guidelines and its personnel policies interwoven. And we have extracted, um, we've separated benefits out from personnel policies. I think the question for what you're going to ask is the on-call, and in the Senate in the back says, uh... Sorry, so on-call is in the... Benefits. Um, uh, Benefit summary. Do you have a page? Uh, it's right here. Not in that one. I couldn't find it in that one. I'm looking at overtime. Call outs. Okay, call, call outs. Call, call. call outs, the second page. Yeah. The second page or in the. On the benefits. Oh, there's a page number. Oh, uh, page number three. Five. Actually, five. Not one of those pages. Call. I think he's looking at something different. I think he's looking at something what are you different. Are you at? looking at the old one, Dick? Or I'm maybe looking at this? I'm maybe his that, version yeah. printed. He's looking at this on call. On call. He's on page five. I think that's what right I'm here. looking at. Okay. And, sorry, no, I think we're all in the same place. Okay. Uh, is it somewhere in there, and I lost it. What about non exempt employees? Uh, and overtime. That's not on call. So you want overtime, not on call? Well, no, no it is. It no, says it on is. occasion. Uh, so non exempt employees who are called out during non regular work hours to attend to emergencies will be com compensated for a minimum of four hours work at, a, at the overtime rate. Yeah. Uh, who does that call? You? The supervisor. Okay. So, I mean, who would it, who would it uh, involve? So, normally it's Danny's crew. <laughs> Danny would call his crew out if he needs yeah. them to take yeah. a tree down. Okay, it also like. says the exempt employees. That's the one I was looking for. Right, it's the, net, the last sentence there says exempt employees. So, it says on occasion other employees may be called. For example, if there's a hurricane, Irene, it may be that we would need to call Katie in or Penny or Pete or Ellie, in which case, they're not highway crew, but they get the same exempt employees. Who would call them? Their supervisor. Which would be Penny. So the select board. So it so would be it's Penny. Penny would call Pete. Pete. And it would be the select board chair if it's Katie. 
I don't think we have any exempt employees. We don't have any exempt employees. So. All right. So Danny will call the town crew in. Yeah, that that part of the story on the town, but what I'm getting at is, is where the other people come into play here that, that uh, could be called unnecessarily, let's put it that way. Uh, I think you need to trust the um, select board to do what they need to do in order to get support. Because mm. I don't recall ever calling anybody in in, in 14 years. I don't either. Fine. I mean, not, not that I have 14 yeah. years of experience, but we are yeah. attempting to cover all contingencies in this. And in the contingency was in case we have an exempt employee, that person would not be compensated with overtime. So, any other questions or I issues? Could nit, I could nitpick a bunch of it, but it's all in there, and it's all, you know, it, it's nitpicking is what it is. The one thing I have is the two-hour thing on calling in sick. Uh, these guys are working six at uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. That means they got to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and call in and say I'm sick. I mean, if they know I'm going to get up time. I have ran into it. I ran into it in the service. I ran into it in the service. Yeah. Oh, you didn't let us know one time. I said, what the hell am I supposed to do? Get up at 3 o'clock in the morning and find out if I'm sick or not? And that's my yeah. thing on that. I mean, it's just, it's, it's in there, but I mean, it's, yeah. it's nitpicking. It's, it's but the I same think as it's, the 2012 policy. Yeah. It, and yeah. it's also consistent with state. And yeah. I mean, there's some things that you, you know, hopefully you're going to know in the night before yeah. or something like I don't, that. You're going to know if you wake up with a hangover. But I mean, other than that, you don't always <laughs> know if you're going to be sick or not. <laughs> okay. I mean, any Tell other. Uh, Tell them how you did. No, it just, I, it, that was a little confusing. The call out? Yeah, yeah. Okay. For me, you know, I just, I did, I just wanted a little clarification on that and everything okay. like that. So. Thank you. By the way, if everybody sees us going like this, it's because we're trying to fight mosquitoes. Not it's Gabby's and the Indian not mosquitoes. Not because we have seizures. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, is there is there any more discussion? Nope. And um, how I everyone, say, everyone feels pretty good about this. I think, yeah. I mean, I had another conversation with the road crew. Um, I want to especially yeah. thank Danny and Penny and Gordon, who's not here tonight, and Katie for being so supportive during this, this whole thing. This is going to the league before we sign it. We're yes. not, all we're doing is saying this, we now want to submit these draft the yeah, policies the and yeah, benefits yeah, yeah. to the league. So the, league. Yeah. the motion that you're going to make tonight is authorizing me to send it off to the legal yeah. council for Vermont League of Cities and Towns, which there's going to be a fee associated with that for them to do legal mm -hmm. review of the yeah. new policies to ensure that um, they're legal, there's nothing illegal about that, and that they don't exclude So it. I will make mm -hmm. a motion to, sign the un to send the unsigned copies of the benefit policy and... Uh, personnel policy? Yeah, personnel policy. Personnel policy and benefit guidelines. To the league for clarification and editing if needed. Thank you. So is there a second? They won't edit. They will provide feedback, feedback and comment yeah. that we will then mm -hmm. edit in. Second. Gabby, thank you. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Great. Um, the next item on the agenda is the Wyndham Solid Waste Management District Solar Project Update and Meeting. It's a mouthful. Um, this might have been taking place over the last couple of years. I don't know that I, maybe you guys would have been aware of it, that the um, Wyndham Solid Waste Management District was doing a, trying to do a solar project on the landfill, and they're ready to move forward with that, and they're looking for towns to sign up. So there's an informational meeting on September 6th, which I'm going to go to, but I didn't know if a select board member wanted to join me in going. I would really like to, but I will not be here. And Gordon, I think we'll be back. I don't know if anybody else is available to go. Yeah. It is um, Tuesday, September 6th. There's one at 11 a.m. and one at 7 p.m. Which one are you planning on attending? I was going to, because it's in my regular work day, the 11 a.m. one. I don't know if, if nobody else had availability, I could certainly yeah, that, do the 7. That you know. leaves me out for the But if somebody one. wanted to do yeah. 7, I would change. Uh, will will Cheryl be there? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. If Troy can't go, I can go. I can't go at eleven. I can go. I, I can go at seven. I, I can not probably 11 go at seven. Work. Yeah. yeah. So. Straws, straws. So, and the other thing is, we'll ask Jordan. Rock, scissor. Rock, paper, scissors. 
Oh. Ooh. Who's going? I am. Okay. <laughs> but you could ask Gordon. Okay. Thank yeah, you. or you could ask Gordon. Because um, he might be able to go to the 11 o'clock meeting. Yeah, if he can go to the 11 o'clock. Okay. Um, so the next thing is the 2016 town fair. Um, we need to select a voting delegate to the meeting. What does that entail? John Barnes? Dick knows. That entails all of the proposals of the, the PLCT is gone over for the year and will present to the legislature. And this meeting is about representatives from every town or town. Maybe changing them some or agreeing to them. Yeah, it's, it's about a two hour meeting. So every year they send out um, a draft of the policies um, relating mm -hmm. to the legislative yeah. agenda for the towns, for the select boards to review in the towns and then to give feedback and then vote. Is, mm -hmm. is that mm -hmm. So if you don't want to do that, Dick, I'll do it. I don't want to steal your thunder. Oh. So it would be um, Wednesday, October 5th. Wednesday. Up Wednesday. at Champlain Valley Fairground. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. So up to you, Dick. You want to do it or? It's up to you. I mean, I've done it for. All years. So you're tired of doing it, or do you want to continue? <laughs> so you're going up Wednesday anyway. Fair Thursday. I wasn't going to go, but if so, I'll do we it looked then. at I'll the um, Katie and I looked at the agenda, and there honestly, the workshops and things like that don't seem to um, have that much significance to the town this year. You know, in past mm. years, we've learned a lot about roads and water and open meeting law and things. If it was Thursday afternoon, I'd say you could do it, but it's Saturday afternoon, so I'll do it. That way don't have to take two days off. It's Wednesday afternoon. Oh, it's, I can take off for Wednesday. I mean, I'm taking off anyway, actually, because no. it's right before I'm getting married, so. You're going to do what? Get married. Oh, God. So. Run, Andy, run. <laughs> so do you want me to go Wednesday and you can go? I'm gonna go. I'm up, yeah. You're gonna go up for Thursday. I'm going up for Wednesday. Oh, you're going up for Wednesday. Yeah. Okay, so we don't need two people then. No. Um, the only thing going on Wednesday is that meeting, and I guess there's a dinner. No dinner. What? No dinner. So the reception. From four to seven? In reception, but it's not a dinner per se. It usually is. It just okay. takes so that we get together. Refreshments and cash bar. Yes. Got nine dollars for a bottle of coors. I don't tend to yeah. Um okay, we don't need a motion. I mean and that well, you have to sign the form, so yeah, you just and the chairperson has to sign it. So Who's going and who's moving? What's the Dick, Dick's going? So I'll move that we nominate Dick Clark as our representative at the 2016 town fair and that she look and sign the paperwork necessary. Second. Okay. Thank you. Um, any more discussion? So all in favor? Aye. 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 Um, tangentially related to this is um, the email that we sent out in the board meeting materials regarding training opportunities for town officers and staff. And I don't actually have that email. Um, but the gist of it was that we, uh, we because we have a larger board um, and because the, the workshop opportunities, can, we've talked about this in the past um, at the beginning of this um, board year. Um, and we had agreed that we would be conservative in participation in workshops um, based on, do you have any of the? I don't have it, and I, I thought I had a copy of the email, okay. but I don't. So um, just based on the, the, the cost of the workshop, the cost of the town of the workshop, the, um, the particip who needed to go, the value to the town, the fact that if somebody went, that person would report back to the town on the contents of the meeting um, and we thought about another factor, which is if somebody is not going to be running in, for, in the next election cycle, if their term is up in the next election cycle, that maybe that, per, that person should excuse themselves from going to workshops unless, in this case, Dick, nobody is available. Um, and you know, I know you and Troy are 
I think you're both up next year. Um, so we just wanted to make sure that we're very conservative with our budgets, our training and workshop budgets and mileage reimbursement and stuff like that. So. Well, I'm going to make my speech that was given to me 15 years ago, that every select board member should attend every possible meeting there is. And if it's a budgetary issue, we should budget the money for it. Because I suggested everybody should go to the March Select Board Institute. How many went? One. Did you go? I didn't go this year, no. I went Did last you go? year. I think Gordon and I were, well... Gordon, no. Did no. you go? No. But I was Did on Gordon vacation, no. so... I think Gordon and I were on vacation, otherwise we would have, yeah, but yeah. they don't do a second so, one. So, I mean, that's... That, yes. I, I'm not being, yeah. you know, totally critical here, but I mean, it, but that was a word I was given by a long-time select board member, and I've been to many of them in 14 years, and I always come back with new information, I always bring it back to the select board, and if the three people go to the same thing, they'll all come back with different answers to whatever issue there is. That doesn't sound good. So, uh, so I, 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 I just think that it's not a matter of selecting who should go. It's a matter of increasing the budget so that they all can go. I think we need that in quotes. <laughs> and I don't think, <laughs> and I don't think, I don't think that's where you want to go with this. But that's, and, and as far as to who's running for select board come March, I, when, when is the uh, date for the petition to be in? I don't know. I think it's January, January, January yeah. something, something, probably around the twentieth. Usually, yeah. yeah. I think that um, just in general, not related to this election cycle, but um, it's good if people know they're not running, that they would, you know, other people would have time to consider their. Um, well, my wife their and I will have this discussion before January, the middle of January, see if I run or not. <laughs> uh, and not to complicate it, but my training is also in your budget. Right. And we don't have much in that budget, do we? We no. like $500. Uh, no, there's Thousand. like maybe 15 I don't know. I don't have it in front of me. And I can't access it. Oh, yeah. It's usually, usually budget, I think, around 1500 and mm -hmm. Might be 12 I just think like anything, we should just be cognizant of, you know, going together. The mileage, if it's up, not close to us, tends to be like $130, yeah. $150. So mm -hmm. it's just a matter of being yeah. cognizant yeah. and making yeah. everything work well, you know? It's a valuable tool, and, and seriously, I mean, everybody should attend it, Ken, and, and the budget should reflect that. It's just... Thank you. Know. you. Um, can I can segue into... Oh, the I had, Yeah, I had sent around the uh, leadership of Southeastern Vermont. I got asked to participate in... It's a one-year-long program. And um, I've gotten, it's a $950 cost for the program, and I've gotten a 50% scholarship from it. And um, most employers are the ones who kick in the other 50%, and I wanted to offer talent and support me in doing that. And I had a chance to look at the, can I just look at sure. the top? Yeah, this again? is the one, yeah, for some reason, um, you put this in the Dropbox, right? Mm -hmm. I did. For some reason, I couldn't open this. Okay. So I should have called you earlier, but I just yeah, got so busier. So the sessions, there, there's a month, a day a month. The sessions are, there's an orientation day. Oh, let me just read this. It's, it, um, it's an intensive, interactive 10-month program. Each meeting focuses on a community theme through presentations, group discussions, field trips, and class projects. Participants are immersed in the many aspects and complexities of the issues facing our communities. Um, it starts with orientation day in September and ends with graduation in June. Um, it includes regional and cultural history, human services, politics and government, health care, economic development, uh, communication, communication and media, education, and the correction system. So I think... Who sponsors it? It's the Leadership Institute, uh, Leadership Southeast Vermont. Um, and. It looked like it, it was an interesting website. It looked like interesting programs because I did go on the website. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it was Jeanette White, Senator Jeanette White, who she's approached me for maybe three or four years about it and approached me this year again and asked me to participate. And I said I would ask for the town support. Is there any? Discussion? Is there a motion to support Katie's participation in this program? I'll move to support Katie's participation in the program. Is there a second? Second. 
Any more further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All, any opposed? I didn't hear your vote, Dick. So. I said aye. I said oh, good. Aye. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. I'm excited and I look forward to bringing back the things for Jeffrey. Okay. Um, Green River covered bridge update. So first is the project update. I'm going to let Katie do this. Um, I, I think since the last meeting, there's not much to update on other than the fact that the, um, the same thing as last time that the bridge, uh, they discovered a section of rot, which um, they're going to need to do additional shoring to support the bridge and replace that. Um, so when the bridge was originally scheduled to reopen August 26th, it's now closed until September 30th. But I think everybody is well aware of that. So, um, And what are they working on this week? Like, uh, next, they, all the, the next meeting is until when, next Wednesday, right? right? All of the siding's done. Um, they just completed all of the drainage work. All the culverts? You got it. So. Um, they had to do some jackhammering, which I believe we talked we about talked in the last meeting. So yeah. um, the catch basin, the, the concrete culvert that went through all there and outletting, they um, put in the concrete flange and reworked the drainage on that side. Uh, they're waiting on the material for the roof, mm -hmm. the um, subsurface material. And as soon as that comes, they'll strip off the old roofing, put that down, and then put the standing seat metal roof in. Um, and probably still installing the deck. Okay. And when are they treating it? Because isn't there a treatment and then you can't go on it for a week and then... Um, I'm not sure I'll find that out. I'd like to make one suggestion. On both ends of that bridge, we should pave an apron. Pave should, an apron? should be a paved apron on both ends of that bridge. Because the way it is right now, when they get their, their boards down to the concrete, it's, that's where your dirt's going to be on your boards, mm -hmm. and I think we should pave both ends of it to keep, it'll keep a lot of dirt being tracked inside the bridge. Mm -hmm. and Plus it'll, it'll save the water save coming down. down. water from going in it. And, and is that something we do in the spring? Well, we might yeah, I would, I would say let it go this winter and do it in the spring. Yeah, so we, would, just we wouldn't do it under contract with them. Yeah. No. It's not in the contract, right? No. no and we, and no, you no, wouldn't no, want to do it because no, then you pay enough charge. Yeah. I think it'd be well worth the money to do that. I think so because how, how many times do you guys go over and grate that? Because it's always, you know, it gets rutted pretty free. Depends on how much it rains. You can't get through the bridge. Can't do it at all. Wow. <laughs> you think there'll be time after the bridge is opened up, Danny, to maybe get it done before? There may be. Let's give them a chance to go over through the bridge. Don't put them in sticker shock yet. Right, right, right. No, I'm just, <coughs> you know, everybody's going to be glad to see the bridge open, want to be going through it. I mean, as far as paving it goes. I like Leiden. <laughs> <laughs> you liar. <laughs> you don't like Leiden today because the road's closed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when they go to pave it, it'll, it'll be, you, you got to keep traffic off it for at least a half an hour, 45 minutes. You know, so you don't run it up. I mean, right. So it would just be like a, be a, a short a, closure during the day. Yeah, just during the daytime. Yeah. But, but most likely spring of 2017? Uh, yeah, unless we see what happens this fall. Probably there, after they get out, put stone underneath and everything else for a new base, maybe? Or is the base good enough? The there? base is already down there. They've, they put the... They put a new base in? Yeah, yeah they put all new gravel and stuff in here. So, I mean, it's... And we have money in our asphalting budget or paving? Um, um, Katie, I had a question. I emailed you earlier about that, about the afternoon bus run. Yep. And, but I think like the construction crew is gone by the time yep. the high school run goes through. So we can next. talk. That, can we talk about it in the oh, next? Oh, We're gonna get there. Uh, yep. No problem. <laughs> well, there's the project piece, and then there's the people oh, okay, piece. Okay. So we're gonna get to the people piece. Okay. So. I think next item on the agenda is limited pedestrian crossing. <laughs> right on time. Um, so I uh, heard from three or five families um, indicating that they would, I had sent an email, I think everybody was copied on it, asking for a response by 10 a.m. today, um, looking for a unanimous response, which I didn't get. So um, it was pretty much put forth that if we didn't get unanimous response, then the town would go with option B. Mm -hmm. And Troy, I don't know if you want to, at this point, recuse yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to recluse myself from this. Okay. 
um, part of the discussion. Very good. Um, since it affects Troy. So um, that was what was put forth to the residents that if they didn't get, if I didn't get a unanimous response, that it would go to option two, which is um, the town employing Troy as a, a qualified person to escort the school age kids across the bridge during the bus run times. So I don't know if that would require a motion. I'm pretty sure that you probably should do that. I thought we pretty well covered it last time, didn't we? We discussed the, uh, yes, we, I don't think we moved, I don't think we made a motion. Who's got the minutes? I think we could just make the motion. And it, say, it could, I, I think it would be great to no, just pass it, yeah. Hearing yeah. no unanimous um, verdict right. from all of the parents that we move it. We employ Troy. I just feel like for, and what did our insurance, I mean, my concern too is our insurance, that if our insurance carrier said we need to have somebody with the kids, that we would need to be policing. Yeah. And we you would. know, mm -hmm. which I think is way more costly than just guaranteeing that Troy is there for each bus run during the day. So we know that he's there. We know if a parent's late, mm -hmm. the kid can get across, the parent can pick him up. To me, it just gives me peace of mind, both liability wise and with the kids. Mm -hmm. you uh, legally say it. Yeah. So, um, did you want to say something? No, I was going to say, for a once, once they pass this motion and it becomes official, then Troy will be there at four o'clock. So he'll work with the contractor to ensure that all the <coughs> access is there. Okay. If he agrees to indeed take this on. At the yeah, because I was one of the parents who emailed to say that I'll, you know, I'll yep. gladly we'll walk him then yep. back and forth. So, anyway. Um, is there a second? Yeah. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Abstained. Abstained. You're yes. abstained. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Good. Okay, so Troy, did you want to do that job? Is that, is that okay? Are you satisfied? Yeah. Okay. All right. If you have any other questions, just shoot me an email. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I, we'll make sure that we get the kids Let me know what the crossing guard pays. I might want to go to Barbara and sign up out there. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty, pretty, pretty better than a flagger. Yeah. <laughs> Well, and thank you, Troy, for, I yeah. know it's going to make your hour sort of a 10-hour day, and you're leaving work and coming back from work, and so I, I appreciate that the school is being flexible with your schedule and that you're taking on extra work. Hey, like I said in the meeting before, it, it's not a school problem, it's not a town problem, it's a community problem. Let's just get the kids across the bus, back and forth, let's get them to school, make it as easy as we can on the parents and get it done and over with. Thank you. Um, the next item on the agenda is the Guilford Center speeding issue. Um, I made copies of this okay. for yeah. um, everybody. This was in your Dropbox, but I have information that I updated it with today. Okay. So I'm not going to go through the whole conversation, but since our meeting on the 8th, the Cemetery Hill Road sign has been moved back as we said we would. Um, we talked about considering changing all of Guilford Center Road to 35 miles per hour and that has not, we haven't discussed that in further. Um, we need to ensure that speed limit signage is placed at five, eight, half a mile distances that permits uncontested law enforcement. Uh, we've asked the Vermont State Police to direct their speed monitoring efforts to the Village Center area and that was done. We have, although we have, don't have it on the agenda tonight, we have made revisions to the ordinance. I think it's not comp they're not complete yet. No, and okay. I think that if you're going to, if I, right. we'll get there, I'll say yeah. my two cents. Um, okay. And um, so Danny reviewed the Wyndham Regional Council roads inventory and found that in 2013 that... Sarah sign, needs to be notified that that sign is removed and she will put it on the... It was, it's, it's on the inventory yeah, that it was moved it, it in 2013. Was on our, it was on our inventory because I looked it up on the sign inventory. Okay. That when the regional did, and I did notice it was on the, okay. on the inventory. I know the day I went with it, I said that's where the sign yeah. was going to be. And, but it didn't it's moved. At that point. Yeah. And uh, the other thing is, too, I did get a pricing on them. You did? Yeah, they're uh, 2500 bucks a piece. And I have the address in the contact person to get a hold of if you're we're okay. interested. So. We, we may not need to do that. We'll, okay. we'll find out in a minute. Um, uh, Danny moved the speed limit sign. Did, did you move the Blueberry House one too or just? No, I haven't done the Blueberry House. Okay, right. 
And he also put the large electronic sign saying slow down, speed limit 35 miles ahead. Um, we asked, Katie asked the Vermont State Police to have their speed cart made available and asked Sean Matthews and Robin Frizee, one on either side of the road, if it was okay to place the um, monitors on their properties. That would give us data including speed, date, and time, um, which would allow us to more effectively target the Vermont State Police efforts um, in this area. Robin Frizee agreed. Um, Sean Matthews had agreed, but then um, changed his mind, um, fearing that he would have some negative repercussions from that. Um, Katie also emailed the Vermont State Police to ask um, our, Tim Oliver is our con Lieutenant Oliver is our contact there to ask him to focus Guilford's contract hours to speed enforcement um, on the 19th. In one hour, 13 cars were clocked. Only one traveled over the speed limit at 36 miles an hour. All the rest were 35 miles per hour or below. Do you know what time that was? Uh, and was the 19th a Friday? The 19th was a Friday, and they were there probably 6.30, 7 a.m.? I can get exactly. Okay. Um, so we've done kind of what we said we would do, and we will keep working on things. Um, do you, you want to add to this now? Well, one thing I do want to add is that um, while the trooper was running, oh, right. running the, the radar in Guilford, a resident stopped and spoke with him about um, Sean Matthews' sign in front of his yard, and he was he has young kids, and he was disturbed by the fact that there's a very large billboard that has profanity on it, and asked if the state police would ma make him take it down, and they said to him that it's not illegal for him to do that, that perhaps the town could ask him to take it down, so. Now, all you have to do is put up entering lighting signs and everybody drive the speed limit. What's that? I'm sorry? <laughs> 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 all you have to do is put up entering lighting signs and everybody drive the speed limit. <laughs> well, just be aware, I mean, as a result of, I think Mr. Matthews and whoever else was at the last select board meeting was um, specifically asked that we ticket people um, because he wanted them to be, you know, have to pay a fine. So that is what will happen there. So but we also he, you said know, everyone should be aware that, that we that, did not uh, make a source of revenue out of the police being in Guilford. Well, we, we don't also want, stated that that's in the record. Right, we don't want that, but because they requested that that be done, we're at, we asked the state troopers, and I want to be clear, that's why we asked the state troopers, because it was yeah, a request yeah. of the residents, residents yeah. of that area. Yeah. You were quite clear, actually, because because I was not at the last meeting, I had to watch the video, I do the minutes, and you were beyond crystal clear in yeah. asking people what what is it that you're asking for specifically, yeah. and your motion did say that you wanted the state police to yeah. um, step up and not forever, yeah. just no, no, not step up, no, see if we can watch the and, and yeah. ticket people because I believe Mr. Matthew said he wants to hit them where it hurts. So and that was exactly what so <laughs> that I while we generally do not want a, to be a source of revenue yeah. in this instance we were doing it at the request of the Friday community. morning was a good example of how wrong Mr. Matthews was with his ninety mile an hour people and I figured that's what would happen. It happened before when we had any complaints. We went through the same thing with the state police. They went down and they spent day after day after day after day trying to catch people and the same thing that they was all well within However, to continue this conversation, if those signs are $2,500 a piece, to me, they'd be well worth the investment because I don't care how fast, how slow you're going, the minute that light comes on, you think speed. I think Ludlow right now, has them, every road coming in Ludlow has those signs. Right. And, and yeah. they definitely are a, my attention getter. Do we, but at this point, we have the. Vermont State Police doing a study, right? That we well, don't need to pay. Yeah. Um, if we could just go back to the sign issue first okay. of the profanity mm -hmm. on the sign, is that something that you want me to ask him to take down, or is that something that you're going to not touch? I, I think he, he should, you should ask him if he would take it down. Uh, I had uh, a few complaints about him being in the road, taking pictures, which is his right, but he's been a little bit too aggressive taking pictures, being out on the road, stopping traffic. Uh, and I understand, I understand the situation, but there's a limit to just uh, 
I'm not sure that the town has any jurisdiction. I'm pretty sure the town has no jurisdiction here, but I think it is within our purview to say to. we have had c expressions of concern relating to the inappropriateness of the mm -hmm. sign. Okay. Could you please remove it? Sure, as a courtesy. As a courtesy, because yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. think we have any ordinances right. about no, the sign. No, no, about no. no. So we, we can't force him, but we can just politely One ask. of the residents was at the meeting called me up the next day and thanked us for a plan and apologized for the, the, the energetic ad, discussion? The energetic discussion, yes, yes, so, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, Katie, so now you had, um, so the sign we know that <coughs> um, the Vermont State Police can place their monitoring equipment there for a little bit? Oh, oh yeah. you don't know yet? So, not in um, Sean's property? No, they, you, the meeting house? Yeah. Okay. Is a, that sounds a, an agreeable location, everybody, since it can't go there to put it at the meeting house? Mm -hmm. Which is town property. Right. Okay. Yep. So that means we don't have to consider, I mean, we would then be able to consider the um, efficiency of buying these signs if we have data that says people aren't really speeding. Mm, yeah. And, um, and, and, and I just want to bring something up. Last time we had the Wyndham County Sheriff's had those signs there. It does give you a printout, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. When does. the cars yeah. come through yeah. and how yeah. fast they're going and stuff like it that. It actually yeah. collects a whole yeah. Yeah. Data yeah. set of data yeah. that, that yeah. can be used. It gives you a time and time and speed. Printout. There's right. a yeah. there's a max speed that they can program it to. So let's say the maximum speed is sixty that they program it for, mm -hmm. and somebody blows through there at ninety, it's just going to show sixty. Right. So, right. but it'll give you a good sense. And after obviously like day two or three, late into two or three, it's going to stop being as effective because right. people know it's there. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And that's like a trooper sitting there. I mean, you can sit there three days and everybody knows yeah, you're going to be Yeah, that doesn't seem to be a good use yeah. of time. Yeah. What about the idea of contacting logging businesses that um, come down and just asking them to ask their employees to respect the speed limit? Uh, that was an informal, I talked to one of them. Yeah. Okay. So um, I don't know if, how many there are, but it might be worth. One of the culprits uh, actually went through there pretty slow today, so. Good. So at this point, we're, we've been pretty responsive. Um, we're gonna be monitoring it to see if we need to take further action, and we will not yet buy signs. Mm -hmm. I think that's right. I think the data collection is good, so we at least know one way or the other actually what's going right. on. Right. I mean, we started it with the state police and everything like that. And, mm -hmm. and are they charging us for that? It's a, it's, it's contract. contract. Oh, it's contract. Okay. So it's directed patrol. Right. Really is what it is. Right. Um, so in terms of updating the ordinance, it's sort of another tough. It's the next. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're right on the target here. <laughs> So we did agree at the time to review the traffic ordinance, which had not been revised since 2007. Or, yeah. And I, I started, and then you said you were going to do some more. Yeah, I, I think it needs a we need good some more work. Okay. Yeah, like um, there are certain sections in it that aren't even, I don't think, accurate. There's like a 30 mile an hour speed limit for a group of roads that I think we have signed as 35. So yeah. I mean, I, I think probably going through it with a fine tooth comb. There are only three speed limits in town. That's 35 for Melgears, two pole guards, 45 minutes of the Old Town Garage, and 35 the Old Town Garage to Cemetery Hill, 45. All dirt roads are 35, and except for 25 in Green River Village. School so, roads 30. The school roads are 30. Is it yes. 30? Yes, yeah. it is, okay. yes. So, yeah. Danny, Just actually, Katie right. was thinking that some work was done on this since 2007 and can't find documents. I, I since know. you have fabulous you archives. on it when I, I was here last. We, we you don't have archives? You know, I was going to stop and see Ann today because I was down here yeah. grading her own I met her and Rob coming down, so I couldn't get to visit with her. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure we had worked on that did stuff you? back then. We did. Yeah. We just didn't think it made sense. Did. You, did, those, you did and Ann did. No sign yeah. one of the issues yeah. that came yeah. up with that. Well, I'm, I'm, I don't know why. I don't have nothing. I mean, the only one that may have would be Ann. Yeah. Right. Uh, We'd have to ask if she's got... It's not I, gotten cold yet, so she hasn't started. You know, I mean, I, don't, I have nothing. <laughs> I have just, no versions of anything other than 2007. Yeah, I, 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 I know the sign the 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 that the Regional had, yeah. had the signs moved to where we wanted to move it on yep. the inventory. Yeah. And you know, if you guys are going to work on that, I'd be happy to work on it with you guys, because then yeah. you could show me the books and... 
we could check out the highway. Oh, ah, okay. That yeah, would be great. Yeah, yeah. Do you ever have Tuesdays on? No, but I could take them off if we. Oh, okay. My my work schedule should be much lighter. Okay. I'm hoping. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I think I may have a copy of it to haul with. Yeah. Yeah. We can we'll play check it. with Ann. And Dick will check. And Gabby will work on this as well. Yeah. So, Dick, Gabby, okay. and Dan. Mm -hmm. And maybe middle of when are you getting married? October. October eighth. So you probably don't want to do this right before that. Why I not? would. Hmm? I would. You Why would. Not? Takes the stress off me. <laughs> well, you all can come up with a date. We can for work doing on this. a plan yeah. and a well, schedule. Well, yeah, you got to work kind of around my schedule too. So. Yep. So, so. Uh, so the next thing on the agenda is the highway updates. Grading. Well, we started grading last week. Um, Allen's still mowing, he'll be mowing from now until the leaves start falling down. Uh, and I got Pete Allen and the newbie out doing culverts. So we, Pete we're, we're staying busy. Mm -hmm. Other than that, that's basically about it. Cutting lots of trees down every time. Well, we had, uh, every phone call is another tree, right? We, we had three come down today, and on the way up through here, I noticed another one down by Dan Ingalls leaning across the road. So. Uh -huh. And then you threw two rocks out in the road I had to move on the way up. I did. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to throw them out of the oh way. Oh my God. Uh, did, did they tell you what I suggested to the other culvert? No. No. Uh -huh. I, I didn't see them. They all, oh, okay. when I get back, they were going. Okay. I said they can go wherever they want once they go below that road and goes down in there. So go across that. So. Yeah. Okay. No How big a rock? They big enough for stone wall? Oh God, yeah. <laughs> No excess highway permits. Excess weight permits. Excess highway. No excess highway. <laughs> no, more highway. No, no, no more highway. No more highway. Too many. Too many. So we're on to finances. <coughs> I would like to make the following motion: that we pay payroll of eight fourteen sixteen for five thousand five hundred twelve dollars and nine cents. Payroll payroll for week ending eight twenty one sixteen. For five thousand two hundred eighty-one dollars and eighty-two cents. Ninety-two. Ninety-two cents. Good Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Expense warrant seventeen oh four for seventy-nine thousand five hundred nineteen dollars and seventy-two cents. And expense warrant DP zero four for twenty-one fifty. Uh, the significant expenses was for Du Bois and King. For $29,823. Green River Covered Bridge Engineering Services. Uh, Wright Construction Company for $42,070 for the Green River Project. Green River Covered Bridge Project construction. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Gabby. All in favor? Aye. 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 Communications, Katie? Yep, I think we'll blast through. Um, we got a memo from Vermont League of Cities and Towns about uh, nominations for municipal and legislative service awards. Thanks. Um, if anybody wants to nominate someone, let me know. I have the forms. Uh, State of Vermont Public Service Board memo. Uh, the certificate of public good that was issued for Sovereign Inc.'s 500 kilowatt project in Guilford. They had their name incorrect, so they sent the correct page. Mm -hmm. um, VTRAN's memo from August 5th, it's the 2017 Transportation Alternatives Grant Program Announcement. Um, uh, next one is Vermont League of Cities and Towns. It's a training opportunity for reasonable suspicion testing courses. Uh, Dan, I think you got that one too, being offered in September. And then Penny shared an uh, email that uh, she got with me that she wanted the board to be aware of that the Act 46 vote may likely take place oh, okay. on election day, which the ballot's not ready, even though the general election ballot's ready. So it's messing up early voting, and it could be a late night on November 8th. 
And seeing as I think you're all we're on, <laughs> yep, we're all on the board of civil authority, authority. <laughs> right? And you'll be maybe counters. Thank um, you, maybe. thank you for that information. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So actually, I'd like to say something about the the. I went to the school committee meeting, the school board meeting, last Monday, <clears throat> um, and they the school board will be holding informational sessions, forums on Act 46 as it impacts Guilford. Um, and I think the, they, those um, sessions will be well worth attending so that we know what we're voting on. So, um, and I, they're going to post them in different places, so look for them. Um, is there a motion for us to go into executive session to deal with a legal matter? So, so moved. moved. Second. Thank you. All in favor? Uh -huh. Aye. 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 Executive session at 7:25, and um, do I hear a motion to approve um, Pat Bue's connecting yes. with Vermont League of Cities and Towns on a legal issue for the town and our insurance carrier as well? And our insurance carrier. Mm -hmm. Second. I didn't make the, motion. Make the motion. Oh, I thought you made. Sorry. Do I'll move. I hear. <laughs> I thought I was. I was already second. You know. <laughs> Who seconded? I. Uh, no, I Troy, Troy, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Um, do I hear a motion? <coughs> motion yeah, to adjourn. Motion to carry to adjourn. I do. Motion to adjourn. Thank yeah. you. And I think Dick seconded it. And so we are adjourned at 826.